In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your regular web style to liquid class and a class morphism. So, instead of viewing your tabs like this or your toggle like this, we're gonna use a nice liquid class style and class morphism style for tabs and for toggles. It's gonna take only a couple of minutes, so let's jump in. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a plugin called Elementor, this one here. After the installation, I also need to install another plugin and this one is called Essential Add-ons for Elementor, this one here. I'm gonna open up my site to edit it with an Elementor. Now, whatever Elementor widget you have here, you just have to select the element, go to the advanced section, and since the Essential Add-ons for Elementor is activated, you'll see the Liquid Glass Effect option here. Just activate it and you'll see the liquid class effect will be applied. Now you can choose between different presets, heavy frost, soft mist, grain frost, liquid frost, and fine frost. I'm gonna select the fine frost. Next, I can choose a background color. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Although, let's make it a bit more transparent. Next one is backdrop filter. You can also customize this one here. As you see, the more filter you have, the more blur effect it has. I'm gonna set it to two. Next is noise distortion settings. You'll see there is a noise here. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now there are shadow effects, effect four. This is effect one. You'll see more shadow down below here. Effect two, effect three, and effect four. I'm gonna leave it to effect four. Shadow settings, there is a border type, choose the one you like, I'm gonna select none. Border radius, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Next, I'm gonna select this column here. Under the advanced, I'm gonna add a liquid class effect. The same settings, spectrop filter to three. And I'm gonna open up the styling settings. And here I'm gonna select the background color. I'm gonna select this one here, add some transparency here, maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, done. Now I'm gonna delete this one and this one here, just to show you that if you scroll down, you'll see there is a separate essential add-ons section. If I search for a tabs widget, I'll see advanced tabs here. I'm gonna drag it on this position. Now, before I proceed, I have to mention that some blocks are available only with the Essential Add-ons Pro version. For example, this toggle is available only with a Pro version, and I'm going to put the link to the Pro version in the video description. As you see, currently they have a campaign going on, and they offer up to 30% off. But back to the video, and let's see what we can do here. Next, I'm going to select the Liquid Class Style. You'll see it, it transformed the style. Under the style, I'm gonna set the content color to white. Great. And just to demonstrate something else, I'm gonna go to the widgets once again. I'm gonna search for toggle this one here. I'm gonna drag the widget here. Once again, I can select liquid class as a style or crystal morphism as a style, this one here. Awesome. Next, I'm gonna add the content for the primary selection and for the secondary selection under the style i'm gonna select the content color and what do you know with a couple of clicks i have transformed my style from plain old style to nice liquid class now as i mentioned you can apply the liquid class effect to any elementor widget for example this is a heading widget under the advanced there is a liquid class option Boom, done. If you need to add some padding, you can do it here. And what do you know, there it is. To deactivate, just deactivate it here. And there you go. As you saw, adding a nice liquid class effect to your site with the help of Essential Add-ons plugin is really easy. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.